Father, we ask that your presence, love, joy, and peace would be evident in this wedding ceremony, and more importantly, in this marriage union for the years to come, for as long as both Spencer and Aaron shall live. Just as you brought your joy and power through your presence at the wedding of Cana and Galilee, bring that same power and joy to this ceremony and marriage union. Grant Spencer courage and strength to be a sacrificial and loving leader. And grant Erin patience and wisdom as she follows that godly, selfless leadership. Make this union intimate and blessed. Be always a part of and indeed the center of this marriage union. Empower both Spencer and Erin to keep you at the center of their lives, both as individuals and as a couple. May this union be marked by strong faith and growing intimacy, and may it bring you glory every day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Spencer and Aaron will now declare their intentions to one another. Spencer, the scripture says, submit yourselves to one another in respect for the Lord. Husband, love your wife, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. Do you take Aaron to be your wife, and to be faithful to this commandment, to love her, honor her, and live with her in holy marriage. If so, say, I do. I do. Aaron, the scripture says, submit yourselves to one another in respect for the Lord. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Do you take Spencer to be your husband and to be faithful to this commandment, to love him, honor him, and live with him in holy marriage? If so, say, I do. I do. Aaron Renee, I have so much to be thankful for since our relationship began just over 16 months ago. I'm thankful for God bringing us together. Even though our location settings on Hinge did not exactly match up, his plan never fails. I am thankful for a long distance relationship where we share our hearts, minds, hopes, dreams, and fears. We made it through the quarantine more together than before. I am thankful for, for you moving to Bremerton so that I get to see you and be with you every day. Finally, I'm thankful that I get to marry you and wake up to, next to you each and every day. I love your kind and loving heart, your always positive attitude, your patient and loyal nature, your creative touch, your adventurous spirit, your beautiful face and body, and your lasting faith in Jesus Christ. Your love makes me feel like a confident and capable man. I want to be the best that I can be for you. So, I promise to continuously pursue you and make you feel wanted, loved, and secure. I promise to laugh with you when times are good and cry with you when times are hard. I promise to keep sharing with you my thoughts, feelings, hopes, dreams, and fears. I promise to listen with an open mind when you need me to. I promise to serve the Lord with you and advance his kingdom with our hearts, minds, bodies, and spirits. I promise to love you wholeheartedly for all my days. <clears throat> Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, you love others with a servant heart, and you are patient, kind, humble, and loyal. You are hardworking, generous, thoughtful, and fun. You are intelligent, handsome, and a man who strives to look more like Jesus every day. Your heart, your mind, and your entire being of who God made you to be are so beautiful to me. You are more than I could have dreamed, and you love me better than I could ever have imagined. I already feel so close and connected to you, and I'm not even your wife yet. I can't even begin to imagine all of the wonderful ways we will grow and change in the years ahead together, but I am excited for the opportunity to do life with you. I am so grateful to God for you, and I am so blessed to become your wife today. I love you so much. Saying yes to you on Christmas Eve when you asked me to marry you was the easiest yes 
that I have ever said. And today I promise to say yes many more times in our life ahead together. I promise to say yes to trusting you with my whole heart for my whole life, forsaking all others. I promise to say yes to loving you both when I feel like it and when I don't. I promise to say yes to learning more about who you are each and every day. I promise to say yes to use my words to encourage you and build you up. I promise to say yes to supporting and encouraging you as you lead our family. I promise to say yes to the Lord and continue to pursue my own relationship with him so I can better love you and those around me. I promise to say yes to reading God's word and pursuing holiness, wholeness, and intimacy with the one who made me and then also with you as we become one. I promise to say yes to celebrating our victories, grieving our losses, and walking boldly through life with you as your partner, lover, cheerleader, friend, and wife. Today I say yes and make a promise that I take you, Spencer Finley, to be my husband, and I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife, wife in plenty and want, in joy and sorrow, in sickness and health, as long as we both shall live. Let's say a prayer of blessing over the ring. <clears throat> Uh, Father, we thank you for the vows that we just heard. We heard the declaration of their intent. We know that you're in the center of this union. And I pray that as they share these rings, that it'd be a permanent reminder of their commitment. And it would bring joy, just as they have joy right now. Then when they look at these rings in the future, there would be joy. Whether it's good, good times or hard times or whatever might be happening, that it would be something that brings them joy, that the commitment is solid. It's based on you and it's based on a commitment that is for as long as they both shall live. And as rings are a never-ending circle, may their joy and commitment truly be unending. We do pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Spencer, please repeat after me. This ring, this ring is a declaration and pledge declaration and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love of my constant faith and abiding love Aaron please repeat after me this ring this ring is a declaration and pledge is a declaration and pledge of my constant faith of my constant faith and abiding love We're not in a rush, right? They need to enjoy this. <laughs> it's good. So Spencer and Aaron are now going to braid the unity braid, which symbolizes their lives being united together in Christ. We're gonna take communion together here, and I'll let you know when we shall be taking the elements, because I'll take them, we'll kind of be the lead for you. But of course, we take these elements to celebrate what Christ has done, which is the foundation of this marriage. His death on the cross, what he's done to allow us to be in relationship with him has also opened the door to a relationship with one another that is pure and unique. And so when we take the bread, we remember Christ's body broken on our behalf. And when we take the cup, we remember his blood shed for us. Communion means unity with God, with God, oneness with him. And of course, we also have oneness with each other as a result of his work. And for us, and this is something for all of you out there, remember this. We are in a unity here. We are together for a reason. We're here to support this marriage. We're here to make sure it stays on the foundation of Christ. We're here to encourage them and pray for them and bless them every chance we get. You're a part of what's taking place. This does represent Jesus, body broken for us. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took the bread. After he gave thanks, he broke it and he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this whenever you take it in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood shed for you for the forgiveness of sin. Do this whenever you take it in remembrance of me.
Father, we do ask your blessing upon this marriage union. We ask that you would empower and encourage Spencer in his role as a sacrificial leader. We pray that you would keep him close to yourself above all and that he would model your son's selfless and humble characteristics in this marriage union, in his relationship with Aaron. We also ask that you would likewise encourage and bless Aaron as she supports Spencer's lead. Equip her to come alongside Spencer as his helper, companion, and best friend. And remind us all here, Lord, to be praying for this union and to supporting this union at every opportunity. Bless this union with a close relationship with you. Lord, be the foundation for this marriage and be the source of great joy, of peace, and let your love reign supreme in it and through it. Be glorified in this union for as long as both Spencer and Aaron shall live. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. For as much then as you, Spencer and Aaron, have in this Christian ceremony before God and these witnesses affirmed your commitment to each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, whom God has joined together. Let no one separate. Spencer, you may kiss your bride. It is my honor to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Spencer and Aaron Jenkins. 